morning. This is day 19 and I'm in Bentota and apparently I'm going on a boat ride. So this is the 19th of August 2021 and I'm here in this river. This place is called as Bentara Ganga and all what you get is basically houses around and all these kind of trees do you call these mangroves if not mistaken that's how you call it if not just let me know i would like to learn from you mainly you should know that the season or like between october to march is the best season that you could come to the western side of sri lanka because the sea is way more nicer during that time so apparently guys there are crocodiles that's one of the reasons why i'm afraid to be here but then of course it feels much better to be over here rather than just sitting over there because it's like you're basically floating on the water rather than going on the boat thing about this is that you have to go in such gaps like this and that's pretty cool right and see like oh my god it's coming up oh. <laughs> look at this <laughs> so much over here that this place has to offer because the main thing is that when you're here you get a different vibe because what you hear over here is not the sound of the vehicles or whatever it is it's just the birds the animals you know the flow of the water is almost over and then we're gonna go in between this bridge I mean not in between under the bridge under the sea under the sea wow. darling it's better see the sea that way so now these are the three things that you get to experience at once and you don't get it every time and everywhere and that's why you should come to Bentato because this is one of the unique places of Sri Lanka and which is way closer to Colombo you could just hit this place within two hours of a ride and that's the best thing you know and see like the trees that you get just totally change it was totally different over there and it's totally different over here why big man? Why big? And this is Sri Lanka and this is what I want to bring from Solo Sri Lanka. Lagoon where most 
can't bend the rope very well. If you come over here, there's like plenty of uh, people doing things. Okay, so uh, the yeah, jet ready. ski has come, and I'm gonna go on a jet ski ride. All right, so I'm just gonna try this, and this is my jet ski. Okay guys, so there's a friend called Vino who has come to see me and then she's joining me for the jet ski ride. So let's see how this adventure is gonna be. So these are like the resorts that are in right next to the Bentota and that is the Bentota bridge that you see over there Guys have a closer look of the Bentota bridge I mean this is a crazy feeling man I'm just loving this experience just imagine you being over here like me You just gotta keep your feet over here just have your hands over here like this Keep looking at this beautiful wave and then go on a full speed. I don't even know how many kilometers per hour that I'm doing. I mean, I'm always uh, on the bike, right? And now, and that's the road. And now I'm on the lagoon. It's a whole different feeling. It's a good combination. It costed me 3,500 for 15 minutes. And it's totally worth it, I would say, because you get to experience a whole different kind of a thing and that's the beauty about this and uh, this doesn't uh, flip easily I don't think so and that was my main fear but no nothing like that man I'm having I'm living a dream man. I'm living a dream and that's what wandering mushto is and that is what solo Sri Lanka brings and you could enjoy this by sitting over there with your lap or phone and definitely you're not gonna be like that forever you're gonna come try this you're gonna try whatever I tried Okay, 
Okay guys, so um, this is my friend Malik and he's one of my school friends. We used to like do sports together and things like that. So anyhow, he invited me when he got to know that I'm doing this solo Sri Lanka tour and then when he knew that I'm coming to Beruala. So apparently he invited me for lunch and it was so good. And now we're just going to go and check out Idam Periyapal. Yeah? First, first mosque in first Sri Lanka. Mosque in Sri Lanka. Okay, so now he's going to show me the first mosque in Sri Lanka and that's something special that I could show you. So let's go there and check that out. Oh, okay. Guys, so uh, this is basically the gem market of Derwale. Like all that I see around is like, you know, all the gem shops and apparently Malik's gem shop is also in this building it seems. So yeah, if you ever want to get some gems, now you know the place. It's the gem market in China Fort. And this is like the most famous gem trading market in Sri Lanka. No kidding guys, it is. Basically 90% of the people who does gems must have definitely come here because this is the main place of Sri Lanka for gems. So the Arabs when they came to Sri Lanka, the first point or the first place that they got on to show was from Beruala. And that is one of the histories behind Beruala. I think I'm getting close. This is not the one. Oh, is this the one? This is the one. Ida Maja? Okay. Inshallah. So I'm so glad that I got to see this because I've heard about this mosque so much telling that the first mosque in Sri Lanka was built in uh, Beirola but never knew where exactly it was and here it is and I'm so glad that in this solo Sri Lanka tour I was able to come and see this and also show this to you guys and people usually like bath over here it seems there's a cute little pond Okay, if I come to Beruala and didn't show you a gem, <laughs> that's not gonna be a good thing. So that's why I've come here. Another pair? Spinner. Spinner. Okay, so this is called a spinner. And this is my friend called Minnatali and I've been here like uh, last year I came here after one year I've come here so yeah here's a small look of the gem for you <laughs> okay apparently Minnat <laughs> he has a big history it seems uh, according to Malik Malik why don't you tell me a little bit any history I don't know I am Nalim Hajar. I am Nalim Hajar. So guys, I I just came to China for it, okay? Like not because he's my friend or whatever it is. As soon as I came, whatever I see, it's like Nalim Hajar, Nalim Hajar. School of Atalu Nalim Hajar, Road of Atalu Nalim Hajar, Madrasa of Atalu Nalim So basically he has done a big service over here and I... Minnat never told me anything like that, okay? He has never showed it to me or like talked about it. But when I was talking to Malik, Malik was selling like the services that he has done and things like that. So apparently, I mean, I'm so grateful to, uh, you know, share this with you. So that's about some history of a person from Beirut. Okay, so this is a picture of Nalim Hajar with the husband of Queen Elizabeth. And of course, Queen Elizabeth is over here. And apparently she has been over here and he has gifted a blue sapphire. Anyhow, this is a small look of their place. Is it the main picture? Yeah. Okay, this is much more of a clear picture of Nali Hajar. So these are a few of these awards that he has been getting back then. So apparently uh, one thing that I'm surprised of is uh, the gemstone that was gifted back then from Nalim Hajiar to Queen Elizabeth was with her and then now 
one of uh, one of the grandsons no or granddaughter like someone in their family anyhow like some of their grandson or grand like somebody in their family is using it it is the tuesday 19th of august so this is proof that i came to benthata on this day all right we're gonna go to goal now all right so welcome in and this is my room for tonight in gaul so apparently i just got this like in gaul food and this is my space for tonight this but it looks confused 